Hey everyone, Jason here, Digital Marketing Consultant, and in this Tag Manager overview, you're going to learn what the heck Tag Manager is and why it is one of the most underrated free tools you have available to you to optimize your digital marketing efforts. Timestamps below, along with a super deep dive video if you decide Tag Manager is right for you, your marketing, and of course your business. Now to understand Tag Manager and what tags actually need to be managed in the first place, we need to understand triggers and most importantly, tags and pixels. So when it comes to digital advertising, advertising or just understanding website analytics, all of the different platforms out there, whether we're talking about Facebook, LinkedIn, or Pinterest, or we're looking at Google's products like Google Ads or Google Analytics, they all have codes that they want you to put on the, your website. And it's not just for their benefit, although they do enjoy their big brother thing, tracking everything that we do, although Apple is really starting to take a hard stance on that, but that would be a completely separate video. The advantage to us as business owners is that these big social media and tech platforms will actually share some of that user information with us. So as an example, if we put Google Analytics on our site, we start to be able to see some basic demographic information and where people came from. If we put a Facebook pixel or something from Pinterest on our site, then inside of our ad accounts, we're going to be able to start to target people based upon actions they took on our site and we'll be able to find, be able to find more customers. Now, as you can imagine, the more advertising you do, the more tags and pixels you have to add and can start to become quite a mess, which is where Tag Manager comes in. But before we get to that, there's a second thing that we need to understand. We have all these little robots or agents that are running around our site, tracking everything that's going on. The second part is triggers, because after all, we don't care about everything that happens on our site, right? We care about key actions, like someone joining our email list or purchasing a product or service. And that's where triggers come in. So while all information is collected, we have to tell these platforms what information information is important to us, as in we want to know who's actually purchasing or who's joining our email list so we can find more people like that. And that is where tags and triggers can become quite a headache because you need to have some tags and triggers for Pinterest and then you need to have separate tags and triggers for Google Analytics and then one for Google Ads and then Facebook Pixel has its own thing and it can become quite confusing. Enter Tag Manager. So what Tag Manager does is it takes all those tags and pixels and puts them into one container so you only have to add code once to your site. Now, there's some big advantages to this. Number one, it's going to dramatically speed up the process of your site because Tag Manager is going to order all of these instead of them being all jumbled, trying to fire whenever they want. Tag Manager is going to force them to fire in a specific way so your page doesn't take a super long time to load every time someone goes to your website or clicks on a new page. And number two, it's going to allow you to see all of your tags and pixels in one place. And then number three, and most importantly, as you start to become more advanced with your marketing, you can create one trigger and that one trigger will tell all the platforms what to do. Whereas if you don't have Tag Manager, and let's say you have a landing page and a confirmation page, and you want to know who's entered their name and email. Well, you'd have to set that up for Google Ads, then you'd have to do it for Facebook, you'd have to do it for LinkedIn, for Twitter, for Snapchat, for TikTok if you're doing that, and then Pinterest. Or with Tag Manager, you can set up one trigger and then you can tell Tag Manager, tell everybody that this is the trigger that really matters. This is what's important when someone enters their name and email. Now, I realize that's a little, <laughs> seems a little oversimplified and it is, there's a little more nuance in that. But what's important is whether or not you're running traffic, you plan on running traffic, or you just need to use Google Analytics to see what people do on your website, you want to use Tag Manager to bring everything under one roof so you don't have things firing off randomly, slowing down your site, or worse, you have something that's turned on and you can't find where it is, which I can tell you from personal experience is an absolute nightmare trying to track out down where one pixel or one tag is firing some random place, especially when you have hundreds, if not thousands of pages on your sites eventually. So that is what Tag Manager does and it allows you to do your own tracking so you don't have to hire some really expensive professional to go set up all of these tags and triggers for you. Thanks to lots of YouTube videos, you're going to be able to set up almost all of the tracking that you need without touching very much code, if any code at all. So hopefully this gives you a better understanding of what Tag Manager is and why it's so important. So go ahead and check out the link in the cards in the description to a full-blown video that walks you through how to use Tag Manager to install Google Analytics, both versions, the new one and GA4 now, 
channel and your Google ads, of course, your conversion tracking for Google ads, as well as the Facebook pixel and how to actually debug and preview things just in case something goes wrong. So thank you so much for watching. Sincerely hope you got some value out of this video. Most importantly, you have a little bit of better understanding of what Tag Manager is and how it could be advantageous to add all those tags and pixels to your site so you can have better understandings of who is showing up to your site so you can find more visitors who take the actions that you want. So hit that like button, subscribe for more videos just like this one. And until the next, keep building the business you love.